Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another emulation showcase video. Today I'm showcasing Odroid Go Ultra emulation potential and of course as you've seen on my channel I've done a comparison video between my Ambernic 552 and my Odroid Go Ultra OGU showcasing some emulation games as well and of course those videos were with retro arena today i'm showcasing also emulation games using jealous jealous is another great linux system and it stands for just enough linux operating system J-E-L-O-S the acronym for Jealous and it's a great system and of course uh, I have to mention it's not a competition between Jealous and Retro Arena both are awesome operating systems and both teams have made great jobs you know making these systems successful I just wanted to try things out with Jealous it's just a matter of preference or um, taste. Now before we start showcasing the gameplay I have to mention two points regarding uh, Odroid devices. Um, if you are a person who is looking for a high build quality and plug and play device this might not be a good option for you. I personally love the OGU but as I mentioned, it's a special device, might not be for everyone. One point is um, it requires lots of tinkering and tweaking. So if you are a person who enjoys that, this could be a great option for you. You will love it. The other point is the build quality. It's not a high build quality. I think it's medium. I personally enjoy it and I love it. And if you remember in my previous uh, OGU videos, I made the analogy of uh, American muscle car. In my 552 comparison, I mentioned that the OGU is like an American muscle car. Great performance, great power, but not high build quality. Whereas the 552 from Ambernic is more like a European car. Very, very good build quality. But the performance might not, might not be as powerful as the OGU that uses the S922X uh, chipset which is used in Android TV boxes. Now the, bear these things in mind and as I mentioned um, flashing Jealous is the same steps as flashing Retro Arena. I'll include that in the video description you simply connect it to your Windows PC the way I do it uh, put your Odroid Go Ultra on the recovery mode with a USB cable and then flash uh, use for example uh, Bolena Etcher or Rufus flash the image file that I will include it also in the video description from Jealous uh, website they have very very good documentation by the way Talking about that, huge shout out to uh, Brooksy Tech and Afro Toast for all their, their help and support and the entire dev team behind Jealous. Great job, you guys. So you just flash it on your eMMC, the internal storage, and when Jealous is flashed, you just put up uh, your device and then insert your SD card. I personally use Samsung uh, Evo Select 256. I find it ideal. You can go with smaller 128 or bigger with 500 gigabytes, but I find the 256 ideal for my emulation devices. I always wait until they are on sale on Amazon for $20, and I always have one or two extra in my drawer. So, as you see, this is the SD card I use, and then once you have your uh, Jealous flashed, you insert the SD card, reboot 
until the partition is populated and then you have the you have you will have the rom file system on your sd card and then you can copy your game roms of course i will include all these steps in the video description okay so that would be just a quick you know info about ogu now let me share with you some gameplay as you see in my ogu i have about 10,000 games roughly most of the systems that I enjoy or I prefer um, as you see Atari 2600 Dreamcast Game & Watch Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color Game Gear GameCube is a little bit difficult on the OGU some games are playable but they are not running smooth at 60 FPS so maybe in the future, you know, with better uh, updates with the Linux firmware, it could be possible. Uh, Genesis, Master System, MSX, MSX2, N64 is running really well. I tried it as well. And then NES. Today I'm going to showcase uh, PSP and PS1. So that's my PS1. PS2. PS2 is also running well. Not all games are playable, but some games are. In other videos, I will showcase that as well. PSP is playable as well. Saturn is playable. And then SNES. Tools, you can also run uh, PSP games through tools. Uh, you can just go there and launch your PP SSPP emulator so then you can also you know start the games from here as well once you are at uh, PSP just to give you some tips make sure to go to your settings while you are in settings just to get better performance try to go to audio and in your audio make sure when you are in device put it on Odroid Go Ultra because sometimes you might experience uh, audio tear uh, I think it's from the firmware so make sure your device is set on Odroid Go Ultra and then with your graphics make sure to go to your um, frame skipping make sure to put it on 1 auto frame skip check it or get it checked as well I'll include these tweaks in the video description as well just to have a little better performance okay turbo graphics 16 and then those are the games I'm using uh, of course, as you see here, uh, this is the minimal theme, if you guys are interested, it's in the UI. There are three stock themes. This is my favorite, the emulation station minimal. I'm sure in the future more themes might be available. Okay. Let's try some uh, PS1 emulation, one of my favorite racing games, as you know, it's the Need for Speed series. Let's try Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, and see how well it will run. It's worth mentioning that the game ROMs I'm using for PS1 is uh, or are the bin files. I think bin files are running really well with PS1.
I think PS1 should run well because it's not so hard to emulate with the chipset that uh, the OGU is using. Yeah, it looks fine. 60 FPS, top right screen. Okay, that was it for today guys. Just wanted to share with you some PS1 emulation with uh, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old. We grow old because we stop gaming.